Week four of the 2014 Stony Brook football season sent the Seawolves on the road to Grand Forks, North Dakota for the final non-conference matchup with the University of North Dakota. It would be another standout showcase for the Seawolves defense. Let's go to the highlights brought to you by Simplex Grinnell. We start with some second quarter action. The senior John Kinder under center drops back and finds his top target, fellow senior Will Ty for 10 yards down the sideline. The drive would end up stalling, leading to a punt, but things would turn Stony Brook's way. Thanks to his hustle down the field, senior defensive back Max Martinez recovers the mishandled punt, giving Stony Brook the ball in UND territory. The Seawolves would attempt a few runs with senior James Kenner, but the drive would end with a grand ball field goal from 36 to start the scoring, 3-0 Stony Brook. The ensuing North Dakota drive would see the home team strike quickly as quarterback Joe Molberg airs it out deep to Deb Ferguson, who slipped past the secondary for a long touchdown. North Dakota doesn't quite capitalize as the PAT is wide to the left, only a 6-3 lead. 8.05 on the clock in the third quarter, Stony Brook starts from their side of the 50. And on first down, Kinder finds Will Ty again, this time for a 38-yard catch and run into the red zone. On a long 3rd and 11, Kinder hits freshman Julius Wingate over the middle for a first down. It was only a select few plays that gave North Dakota the edge, the final being Alex Tillman jumping the Kinder pass and returning it 92 yards for the final score of the game, 13-3 North Dakota. As is the story with 2014, the Seawolves defense was a force to be reckoned with. Opposing offenses are struggling to figure out how to move the ball. North Dakota is especially struggling as they only totaled 145 yards of total offense and only 5 first downs. The Seawolves held UND to 2 for 12 on 3rd downs and got to the quarterback 3 times. Junior Naeem Cheeseboro led the team with 8 tackles and added an interception. Sophomore Aaron Thompson battled all night in the trenches, five tackles with three of them coming for loss. Christian Ricard recorded another sack, bringing his team leading season total to five. It was a tough pill to swallow for the Seawolves, but the team is optimistic and looking to find its groove as they head into CAA conference play. The offense has begun to click, evident by the 14 first downs, nine of them through the air. John Kinder ended 12 of 18 for 172 yards. Will Ty recorded five catches for 103 yards. And Marcus Coker added 59 yards on the ground with some tough running. The Seawolves come home to open up conference play against William & Mary for homecoming, Saturday, September 27th at 6 p.m.